nelle puntate precedenti. Questa è la volta! Hanno sparato uno dentro il nostro hotel. You ever been to prison? We yeah, are yeah, yeah, yeah. Carissimo! Autostrada extraterrestre. Pampa, vincendo il capodanno a Las Vegas, doveva rimanere solo 6 giorni. Ma dato che mi sono trovato molto bene con lui, ho deciso di fargli una sorpresa. Cos'è questo secondo te? Leggendo dal sito penso sia un Airbnb. Più nello specifico? Un appartamento. Il nostro appartamento! Non è vero. Sei serio, serio, serio? Sì. <ride> Sei forte. <ride> Anche tu, per questo ti faccio rimanere volentieri. E siccome a Capodanno l'avevo visto ben inserito nel contesto strip club, avevamo una nuova missione da affrontare insieme. Una delle cose più caratteristiche di Las Vegas è il mondo degli strip club, che mi ha sempre incuriosito tantissimo per varie ragioni. Quindi oggi andremo nello strip club più grande del mondo e in uno un po' lercio vicino per fare qualche domanda e scoprire come se la vivono le persone che lavorano in questo ambiente. Come ti senti? Siamo carichi. Praticamente tutti gli strip club di Las Vegas offrono un servizio gratuito di limousine che ti vengono a prendere per portarti là. Ok, perfect, perfect, thank you so much. Dovrebbe essere che momenti per andare. Questa è la nostra. Hi, hi. Eric? Yeah. Oppa la! Wow! Tanta roba. Il posto in cui stiamo andando adesso è quello in cui ci avevano cacciato a Capodanno. Speriamo che con la limousine non ci siano problemi. Ero già stato in una limousine per andare a uno strip club la prima volta che ero venuto qua. Sono in una limousine, cioè posso stare così. Uh. Era uno strip club per i maggiorenni di 18, era un po' un mini strip club. Si levavano il cappotto e poi è finita lì. Bye bye, il più grande strip club del mondo. Questa volta siamo andati lì prestissimo e, senza difficoltà, siamo riusciti ad entrare. Appena entrati, veniamo assaliti da delle ragazze che volevano spillarci i soldi. Ma noi resistiamo e andiamo alla ricerca di un tavolo. Dopo due secondi arrivano altre ragazze che sembravano alla mano, quindi provo a buttarla lì. Povero illuso, io che mi aspettavo che per fare una cosa del genere mi avrebbero chiesto al massimo qualche centinaio di dollari. Ma andiamo avanti. Mi faccio coraggio e partiamo. Mi accompagnano quindi in una stanza chiamata VIP Room, in cui tentano la giocata. I need somebody who would like to talk. You can just get our asses and then we can... No. If you don't want to talk, it's fine. No, I, need you. I need you to find me a girl who would like to talk about the job. Please. Usciamo allora dalla VIP room dove incontriamo due ragazze che sembrano più inclini ad essere filmate. Ma solo nell'incredibilmente esclusiva Skybox. Andiamo quindi a vederla. Alessandro. Oh. So, this is one of our Skyboxes. Uh -huh. yeah, we have several Skyboxes. Oh, so my friend can come here? He can come yeah. up here, yeah, because you have three girls. Yeah, you have three girls. I don't need three girls. How about, you know, they are friends. You just pick me and I'll, I'll let them be. Un'altra imboscata. Yeah, you need to tip her. Yeah, because she's the one who showed you around. You. Can you tip her decent? And then do you want to go grab your friend? Well, you have principal, even when yeah. it's No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sistemato il primo problema, ecco che ne appare un altro. I don't think I can put my face out there. Ormai è arrivato fino lì e il video lo volevo fare. Quindi contratto e troviamo un accordo. Mi hanno spennato. Questa è la stanza. Ok. Guarda qua il pampone come sta bene. I think I'm gonna sleep here tonight. Very good time. Che roba. So I'm just gonna explain it real fast. There's a champagne and wine minimum starts for the room for the hour. Ok. I just say she's getting she's getting Yeah. So you're gonna be looking at un botto di soldi Se questo video non va bene mi sparo <ride> Questo qua è lo strip club in cui hanno fatto una notte da leone E lei mi ha appena detto che We do get a lot of celebrities When we do get celebrities we generally like sign an NDA Which is a non-disclosure agreement um, So you usually have to like give them your phone 
Um, you say that you won't take any pictures, you won't disclose anything that happened, you won't say their name, um, and you won't, like, basically give any details about wow. things that, like, they do or, like, what goes on. I will, like, uh, not put the names, but can you tell me the names? No! No, I will, I will, I will, I will, like... No, no, okay. no they're, like, million to two million dollar NDA. So if you sign an NDA for, like, two million dollars... Oh, you have to pay one mi uh, million? And you disclose their name, then they can sue you for, like, one to two million dollars. <laughs> Oh, ok adesso mi fanno pagare e poi devono prendere la mia impronta digitale perché così io non posso dire che non ero stato qua ok fine thank you follow me on insta per scoprire il suo nome venite sul mio profilo instagram avete la giusta let's start with the name my stripper name is Chicago I'm Lacey Lee what's your relationship with your parents I have no relationship with my parents for the job uh, no they don't even know I do this job Ah, ok, why? Because I was a school teacher. And why you changed the job? What you make in a month as a teacher in like two hours here. So the money is like not comparable. And what job you like the most? Um, teaching is way more rewarding, but this is, this gives me like way more freedom. And you? Um, as far as my parents, they don't know that I do this. They think that I'm a bartender. I'm a single mom. Are oh, you a mom? I am a mom. We're both moms. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Two kids and I'm by myself, like their dad is kind of gone. So, this is what I do to um, be able to like have freedom, spend time with my kids all day. Actually, we became friends through both of our divorces. We did. Uh -huh. And this job allowed both of us to leave our awful exes. The strangest proposal that you ever received from a client? There's a lot of foot guys. Um, I had a guy that was like, could you please wear socks and get super sweaty and then let me like buy the socks off of you? And I was like, well, I could do that, but it's going to be like two grand a sock. And he was like down. So we did that. You did that? I, yeah. I had a guy deep throat my foot for a thousand dollars. Really? Like, yeah. Feet guys are like kind of the best. They're gross. They're, they're the best. Yeah. But they also like, they don't want actual dances. They're not like pushy. They don't want to touch you. They're like, can I massage your feet? And after like a long night in heels, you're like, yeah, you can't massage my feet. <laughs> oh, they're fetish? I had a cross dresser guy. Oh, me too. What? Yeah. He dresses like a woman. And he was like, I would really like to meet you outside of the club and I would like you to dress me up as a woman and like pimp me out to men. And I was like, I'm really sorry, but I can't do that. I was like, so I did not take that one, but yeah, we get some strange requests. Some other strange things? I mean, we get offered like huge amounts of money to leave. Yeah. Which neither of us do. Yeah, we don't leave, but we get offered a lot of money. To like leave. how much money? I was offered fifty thousand like a yeah. couple months ago to yeah. leave for the night for one I, night. And why you said no? Uh, because I don't want to go down that road. Can I ask you like how much do you make on average for a month and like the most money that you made in one day? Okay, um, the most I ever made in one night was in Chicago. It was uh, twelve thousand. The most I ever made was twelve thousand too. Was in Vegas. In one night. In yes, one night. One night. Yeah, a couple of hours actually. Mm -hmm. In like in one month. My last month was right before COVID. Okay. Um, and I made I think. 42,000. Wow. Yeah. But then COVID came That's a it. lot of money. It's a lot of money. But then Working not, like how many hours? Probably like three, four nights a week. That's a lot. My last month was about 40,000 too. Two, three yeah. nights a week. Um, in Vegas, we have a lot of conventions. So like around those times when there's a lot of people in town, we might work four or five days a week and then we might take like three weeks off. <laughs> What's <that? laughs> What's the thing that you like the most and the least about your job? We make our own hours, we make our own schedules, we come, we don't come, we can come and go as we please, which is amazing. The money that people make in a month, we make in like a week. So we come in and we like do what we have to do, we make our money and like we get out and then we can like live our lives. Yeah. So the way that people live lives, like they work 40 years of their life. What's the first thing that you bought with like the first check? We make cash, so we don't yeah. check ever. Mm -hmm. um, ah, ah, you only take cash? Yeah. No, no, we get, well, yeah, so in this club, like, even if um, someone pays with a credit card, we get, like, fake dollars, but we cash them in for cash. So we leave with all cash every single night. Ah, loro vengono pagate con questi soldi qua e poi fanno cash out. Che figo. You definitely have to put aside, like, 30% for your taxes. So you have to pay taxes? Absolutely. But Absolutely. We're 1099. We're independent contractors. You have to pay taxes. You have to report what you make. And you definitely have to set aside your money to pay your taxes at the end of the year. Because if you okay. don't... You have like to get yeah, an interview to, to get like yeah, ac accepted. So if you look good, um, but literally they will tell you like, oh, you need to drop 10 pounds. 
yeah. um, whatever it is they don't like about you, they will tell you like right there in front yeah. of anyone. They're very strict on appearance. Mm -hmm. um, it's like really important how you look. So when you do go to audition at a, like a new club, you have to make sure that you're like on point. You have to be like working out. You, you have, have to, to make sure that you look your best mm -hmm. and like you're a hundred percent. Okay. The average customer here. All young. Uh, oh, very I'm, different yeah. everywhere. It is all over the place, um, especially because we're in Las Vegas. So everyone is on vacation. So we get everyone from like 21. 21st birthday yeah. to like businessmen that yes. are expensing everything on their company card. We just see like all types of people from all walks of life, okay. which is what makes like the job so great and which makes us like so well run. But you ever like met somebody that you like like and then like. <laughs> Stay in touch with them after. <laughs> Maybe. Very rarely, it's very, yeah, it's it's difficult. When someone pays to see your boobs, you generally, <laughs> like, don't remain friends with them. But okay. there are, like, people once in a while that you do, like, end up meeting. And how does this yeah. born? Like, how a relationship from here born? Like, there's a lot of people that come in, they just want to talk. Okay. They, oh, really? Yeah, yes. they want to take you to like a private room and they just talk to you. They spend a lot of time with you. So you're like a like English, psychologist? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're like everything. Yeah. We're like therapists. We're like, you know, mm -hmm. we take on several, whatever role that person needs is like what we do. And What's the people, thing that you like the most doing? Uh, talking. What I like the most is like meeting new people. Like okay. we're meeting people that are making like millions of year, a year. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. Did somebody ever like offered you a job? Yes. Yeah, people have offered jobs, really? um, but nothing is comparable to here. I, like what type of jobs? Sales for me. Yeah, sales jobs I've been offered. I've been offered like assistant jobs, yeah. secretary jobs, stuff like that. But nothing where I can make my own schedule. I could literally, if I wanted to, I can take three months off. For how long have you doing this? Um, I've been doing this since I, I was 19 and I'm 27. Wow. <laughs> this is my fourth year. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Other than B3. Oh, fuck. Oro... No, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, 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 My goal in life is just to be like stable, to eventually stop dancing, um, to have investments that can carry me through, and to just give my kids the best life that we can have. My happiness. Also, um... Peace in the world. No. <laughs> no, literally happiness. Like I just want to be happy. No, no, yeah. I, I was joking. Um, and happiness also, um, I want to own my own fitness studio. What's the most like uh, extra thing that you ever done? This. <laughs> this is pretty extra. Yeah, yeah, this is pretty much it. This. I also <laughs> think that it's like important. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. I, like I'm happy that we can put it out there, that we can like talk about it because yeah. most people don't talk about it. They don't take the time to stop and like think about the people behind the job. Yeah, that's that that was my goal. Do you want some movies in your face? Yeah. Sorry? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Sorry? 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 And champagne. We should pour more glasses of champagne. Yes. Hey! Escribetevi a Dale de Russia. Andiamo! Finito. Come è stato? Incredibile. Andiamo in quello schifoso adesso di là. Speriamo che anche loro siano disponibili a dirci le cose. Non tu con tutti i soldi che mi hanno chiesto questo. E che cazzo ero lì, io volevo farlo questo video. Ti chiedono soldi che devi pagare, poi tasse e poi ti obbligano. Cioè, il tipo che mi ha preso. Il tipo che mi ha portato la bottiglia. Mi ha chiesto, cioè ho dovuto dargli per forza il 15% di mancia Che era dollari Siamo arrivati nel secondo posto, quello schifoso Lercio We already entered like three days ago Three days ago? Yeah, Ok Succediamo, vediamo se viene qualche tipo a parlare con noi Ieri siamo Questa è la situa I would like to interview a stripper Ok, well we can do that Yeah. In the VIP. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You're down to be filmed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, We're doing our 15. Okay. I am. I'm 25. Why this job? I was working a regular job and I wasn't paying the bills. 
So I just decided to do this as a living. I mean, I was already going to clubs, like dancing on random guys, you know? Uh, ah, yeah. just for free because just, you like just, it? Just for fun. So I was like, okay, you might as well get paid. I don't plan to stop until I'm 30. Ah, why? Because it's fun. Like, you get to travel. You can, like, change the, the club that you're working at. Yeah. Uh, can I ask you the relationship with your parents? Oh, uh, yeah, we're okay. They know I strip. Really? Yeah. And what did they say? They don't care. They're like, you do you. Really? Yeah. The most I've made are 10K. In one month? Uh, no, in a night. In a night? Yeah. Wow, in a month? And um, I can't tell you that. Nah, it, tell it me. Depends. It depends. But on average, 25. What's the thing that you like the most and the thing that you like the least about your job? The thing that I like the most, I'm the type of girl that I like to look good all the time. Okay. So that's that's like what I like, that you're showing off your body, you're showing off like your beauty. Um, I like that guys always compliment me, you know, they like my charm. I like that. Uh, the least that I like is that uh, some guys will try to like do more. You ever get like a fear you're I working? Have, uh, I don't have fear. Uh, it's fun to do this. Yeah, okay. or some guys will try to lick you and you're like, oh no, hold up. If girls want to do it, they should know that it's not for everybody. Sometimes you have to deal with like, you know, your your um, body image. Like sometimes you compare yourself to other girls and that can really bring you down. But I know a lot of girls uh, jump into it thinking, oh, it's going to be easy. And then uh, something happens to them at the club. They're just like, why did I do it? You know? Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you, bye bye. Finita la serata, incredibile. Beh, comunque molto interessante le cose che ci hanno detto. Che esperienze ti faccio vivere? Ma che esperienze ti faccio vivere? Nel prossimo episodio. È la classica carnitas del cazzo. Tanta, tanta roba. Guardate sotto. Di notte qua fa meno 10. Mi piace una strada lunghissima che non so dove porta. Che figata.